Hello and good morning. Yeah, we are rolling out. Just following my buddy Lee. We're up early, 7.14 a.m. It's 25 degrees. I uh, thought I was really cool this morning. I went ahead and uh, defrosted the car. Well, <laughs> I defrosted my Model Y, not my wife's. I'm in my Model or my wife's car here. And... Uh, it was still ice cold when I came out to it, but it's okay. It's defrosting quick. I'm following my buddy Lee. He is uh, just in front of me here, and uh, today is uh, heading to Nashville. But before we do that, we are uh, heading uh, to uh, breakfast with a bunch of ham friends of ours. Uh, we're going uh, to an IHOP in a place called Belton. As you can see, it's uh, quite early here, and uh, we are uh, headed that way. The uh, windows, yes, are still a little frosty, but it's okay. We're taking our time here, but we're getting there. Anyway, today, uh, after breakfast, I'm heading all the way to Nashville, so stay tuned. In 500 feet. This morning the car was at 83% and uh, we're at 82 now. We're using up some of our traction and battery energy to uh, warm up the car, but it's okay. You can see the uh, front window is clear, side window is almost clear, and uh, we'll be there in uh, nothing flat. Roads are in good shape so far today. I don't see any precipitation in my travels today. It's just cold, still 25 degrees here. We are on the road, looks like four charge stops today. We're gonna charge in Columbia, St. Louis, Marion, Illinois, and Katowa, and then we'll be in Nashville today. We're up here on Interstate 49 on autopilot. Just heading around Kansas City on Interstate 470 now go around the corner here and we'll be up on Interstate 70 in about six and a half miles. We are now eastbound Interstate 70. Looks like 107 miles to our next charge stop in Columbia, Missouri. That's Central State. So we're moving right along here. It looks like arrival percentage now 13%. 64% in the battery. The sky's clear. It's cold, 36 degrees. We're making great progress here. I'm uh, tooling down the highway. It's Saturday afternoon. There's not a lot of people. Not cross your fingers. Looks like uh, I've got 31 minutes to our next charge stop, which will be our first one for today. Running autopilot, as you see here. Um, it uh, taken us uh, to the western side uh, supercharger in Columbia. Let's have a look around. Turn right onto North Stadium Boulevard. Just off here in Columbia. As you can see, we're headed down south here. It looks like to me that uh, it's probably at the high V. They installed a new version 3 here in Columbia to the west side. It's okay. You know, the good part about a high V is uh, it's a really nice store. Also, there's cafeteria in there. There's uh, some pretty decent lunch there if you're uh, so inclined. Knowing that we were going to a supercharger, the car went and preconditioned the battery. This warms up the battery and prepares it for a fast DC fast charging. It's like about a quarter mile now up on the left. Now turn left. Got this little uh, left turn pocket. If 
And as expected, it's a high V. How do I know? I've been here before. Now your destination is on the right. So this is a version three, like I said. There are uh, uh, several, uh, or I should say two at least, pull-in spots. Uh, there should be reserved for trailers. But there's a lot of folks that uh, seem to think it's uh, okay to use those. And I guess it is if they knew that no trailer would show up. But it's just not uh, cool to use a spot. As you know, I've driven the trailer. And uh, it's very inconvenient to um, not have a pull-in spot when you get here. All right, let's have a look at um, the travel so far today. Uh, this will be 146 miles here, uh, 48 kilowatt hours at a rate of 329. Uh, it's relatively low. Again, we're running in chill mode. Arrived with 14% and it's 39 degrees. I think let's get hooked up. Yeah, we're going to charge fast today. As you can see, uh, the 252, 251. At a low state of charge like this, uh, we'll hold 250 for a little while and then it'll uh, slowly go down. So it's 14 minutes and we can continue our trip. Let's have a quick look at the nav here. Next stop is St. Louis. Now, um, let's talk about our stop in St. Louis, all right? Uh, if we look at this, there's a lot of chargers in St. Louis. And you know I've been there a bunch of times. And this, uh, apparently, if I punch up there, uh, it wants to take us to St. Louis, and it wants us to take us uh, all the way down through Mount Vernon and Katawa. But I'm halfway thinking that maybe we want to, today, try a different route. I know I'm into different routes these days, but I think it might be kind of cool if uh, we can uh, try something different. The scenery is still the same on our normal route. But I'm thinking we might want to... It's kind of the same. I mean, if you look at uh, the area here, right? And the area here, it's pretty much the same. We do need to cut over and go through town here um, on this road right through uh, Paducah and pop out over here on Interstate 24. But you know what? You guys are sitting there watching my videos and you're thinking, dang, Dave, you drive the same way each time. Well, you know, I do because uh, I get there quicker. Uh, but this looks pretty much the same. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to change up our charge stop, okay? Instead of charging here, considering we are going to go to the east, we're going to change it up to this one right here, okay? And we're going to add that as a stop. Watch now. I hit this. See what it does. Now it's going to redirect us to that supercharger. And uh, it's where we want to go. We go down Wentzville Parkway and then south on 270 here, right to it. Yeah, I realize it's a version 2, but you know what? It's okay. We're going to then take Interstate 55. This is the Mississippi River, by the way. We're going to take that right on down 55. Go right on down. Maybe we'll see something cool along the way. We'll get down to Cape Girardeau. There was some cool stuff in the 50s that happened there. You might look that up on the internet. Once we get here, we're going to take off on 55, and the nav will go, hey, wait. And then, bam, it'll reset our supercharger run for us. So that's our plan today, and I think we'll uh, get this done. Uh, let's uh, take care of business. Got 11 minutes to go, and uh, I'll be back in the car. Yeah, here we are at the uh, Columbia West Supercharger, version 3, couple pull-ins. Eh, reasonable amount of folks here today. And uh, we'll get charged up here in a few minutes and down the road. We have enough, according to the car. We're still at 84 kW here. We've got uh, 14 on arrival. I'm going to let it sit here just for a minute. And it uh, looks like... Uh, 126 miles to go, hour and 53. All right, well, we're not waiting around. Let's uh, get unplugged and uh, down the road. 15% on arrival.
All right, we are out of here. Eastbound on Interstate 70 now, and uh, it looks like our arrival percentage is 16%, and uh, it's fine. We're uh, good to go. It's chilly, so once we get moving, it'll uh, generate a little heat, and I think we'll be in good shape. Let's have a look around east of Columbia. are in St. Louis. Yes, we are. We're going around the south on Wentzville Parkway, and uh, we're going to be heading south on uh, Highway 270. Yeah, I think everybody's out. It's better than a weekday, though. 270 South. Now take the Interstate 270 South ramp on the right. In 500 feet, Take the Interstate 270 South ramp on the right toward Menton. I will say I've never been on Interstate 270 before. We're just about the end of our uh, turn here. We get off here and In loop 1, around. In 1,000 feet, take exit 1B on the right onto Lemay Ferry Road. Okay. We will do it. Or try to anyway. All right. We made it surface streets here. Wow, welcome to St. Louis. Hey, look at that opening. Let's try it. Here we go. Now turn right to stay on South County Center Way. Version two, it's okay. Somebody just pulling in. One B, one A. It's best we can do. Here we go. And just like that. All right, let's have a look at our trips. All right, get my fat hand out of the way. Uh, 274 miles, 86 kilowatt hours at a rate of 313, which is pretty good. Remember, I'm running this on chill. I don't think it makes a hill a bit, hill of beans a difference, but what the heck. Arrived at 13% as predicted. All right. Let's get plugged in here. We're wasting time. Next stop will be, uh, thinks we're going to Marion. We're not. I'll redo that. We are plugged in. Now, we are sharing a um, 150. The Y, uh, nobody's here, I don't think. They've just left it. They've gone in the mall. So we are sharing. And uh, the downside with that is uh, we'll end up about 74 kW unless they're at the end of their charge, which will get more. And uh, so there you go. Anyway, 40 minutes, uh, but let's redo the navigation now. I'll see if I can do this without getting my fat hands in the way. All right, we'll close this. Uh, we will cancel our trip uh, and uh, we will now reset it to Nashville, okay? Where does it want us to go? Through Katawa figures. And I don't want to go through Katawa. So here's what we're going to do. You've seen me do this before. Okay, we'll turn on the superchargers. And as you can see, we have a supercharger here. This one is Cape Girardeau. That's where we're going to add. So we're going to add it, okay? And just like that, the nav uh, changes up where we're going. And it will do exactly what I wanted it to do. So now we're going to go from here, Cape Girardeau. That means we only have 30-minute charge, which is fine. Uh, if this guy finishes up next to me, it'll even be less. We'll charge up in Cape Girardeau. We'll go uh, down and around. We'll go through a place called Wycliffe today. If you haven't seen any of my videos, quite cool. We go through a couple very old uh, riveted bridges. 
Uh, we go over not only the Ohio River, we go over the Mississippi River and go through Wycliffe. Then we got to drive surface streets all the way through Paducah and jump out here on Interstate 24 and uh, haul over here to uh, Kutawa. And then it's the last charge and we arrive in Nashville. So let's have a look at the mall. Yep, J.C. Penney. So this is a, uh, a quiz. Uh, where do you think J.C. Penney was started? I know, I've been there. I saw their original store. So put that down in the comments. J.C. Penney, where was it started? And if you go look at some of my videos, you can actually see it. And then a few other mall stores. I think I'm gonna head over to the mall, maybe even go over to uh, Qdoba. That's a sandwich place, I think. We're gonna check it out. I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat some lunch. It's uh, 1 12 p.m. So they got an awesome food court here by the supercharger. And I uh, got some uh, teriyaki chicken. That's cool, it's right here in the mall. Uh, you walk in the door from the supercharger, and here it is. We'll test this out. Not bad. There's a uh, cool mall here. And a, uh, if you come during mall hours, there's uh, some pretty good food choices inside. Anyway, it's not a bad place. We're going to check it out here. This was my lunch. Chicken teriyaki, fried rice, and vegetables. Eh, it was not bad. I give it about a seven. There are several other choices in the food court you may like better. This one was actually grilled for me rather than sitting in a steam tray, so that's why I went for it. All right, looks like uh, we are enough uh, charge to get to Cape Girardeau, so we're going to get to it. Let's uh, get done here and uh, we'll unplug. We are good to go. We've got 64 in the battery and 20% on arrival. Shout out to Sean. He's got this awesome uh, Model 3 performance uh, and it looks so nice. He's, uh, uh, it says it's his weekend car. So <laughs> good man. Anyway, let's hit the road. We got 20% on arrival. Let's go. We're going south here. Autocross, yeah. We're on 55 South now, coming off the hill here. Looks like we're going down to the level of the Mississippi River. Since we're gonna be driving right along next to it, maybe not next to it, next to it, but kind of close. We'll cross over here later on. Yes, it's certainly the suburbs here south of St. Louis. Malls and hotels and houses and all that stuff, suburb spring. Hey, look, you can see the Mississippi River. Yeah, only on the map. It's about a mile away, I think. Wow, look at the strata here. Isn't that wild? Now and, take the ramp on the left toward Cape Girardeau. And just like that, we are off the interstate and to uh, the road here in Cape Girardeau. I didn't video anything coming down 55. Uh, you guys have seen all of that stuff. Nothing uh, uh, was worthy of any kind of video. Oh, there we go. Boom. You know what that is? The car recognizes the lights. In 500 feet, turn left onto Veterans Memorial Drive, Limbo Lane. And when it sees the light turns green... Now turn left onto Veterans Memorial Drive. You get the bong. How about that? Don't you wish your uh, non-Tesla did that? It's handy. All right, here we go. The uh, supercharger is right here in the Philip, left. Philip 66 spot. That's cool. Looks 
like there's a, a spot or two open. One here, I'm just going to slide it in here. Oh, all right, I'm just going to slide it right in here. Okay, let's have a quick look. Wow, look at that. Get my fat hand out of the way. 373 miles, 120 kilowatt hours, and a rate of 321. And we've arrived at 15%. Let's get plugged in. This is a version 3, so we should get some serious power at 15%. 348, come on, there it is. 251, 253, 256. Hey, look at that, a binary number. All right, well, I'm going to buy that for a dollar. Now, it says 10 minutes, and uh, that is correct, because our next stop will be Katawa. Now, a little bit about charging. I can wait here 10 minutes, right, to get to Katawa, which is a 120. Uh, and I'm supposed to arrive at uh, minus 20%. Uh, sorry, I'm supposed to arrive in Katawa... Uh, it doesn't say here. I charge for 10 minutes. Anyway, the bottom line is uh, we're going to charge uh, probably a little more here. If I can keep this uh, value up here high, uh, whether I charge here or I charge there, it makes no difference. Uh, I still have that amount of energy in the battery. So uh, that's the plan. Uh, we'll charge probably 15 or 20 minutes here. It's already nine minutes ready to go, so we'll uh, let it go for uh, just a little bit. We're going to ride the 200 kilowatt wave. Here we are, Cape Girardeau. It's a uh, eight stall, version three. Eh, decent amount of people here. It is kind of the holiday travel weekend, so there you go. We're going to charge a little extra so we don't have to charge so much in Katawa. Besides, uh, there's a huge amount of traffic on 24 we're going to have to go around. The car said we have enough. Uh, we have 14% on arrival. Here it says 4 minutes uh, remaining. Hmm. But it says we can go. I think we have a little bug in the navigation. Well, that's okay. 14% in Katawa is just fine. 100 miles. Let's go. We are southbound on Interstate 55 again for three miles, and we uh, cross over the Mississippi River. Actually, this is a new bridge. I've never crossed over here in uh, Cape Girardeau, so this should be interesting. Then we go down Highway 3 through Wycliffe and through Paducah. We're off the interstate again, uh, heading over across the Mississippi River. This is uh, Cape Girardeau in Missouri. And something really uh, interesting happened here in the 50s. Uh, it started with a clergyman that saw something and uh, it started a kind of a whole thing. I'd suggest you look it up on the internet and uh, put in your comments below what you think that was. Yeah, how cool is that? It's not an old riveted bridge, but hey, it's pretty cool. It's uh, awful brand new. Anyway, let's uh, enjoy the bridge here. This is the Bill uh, Emerson Bridge, Mississippi River. It's kind of a cool thing. We'll take a look at the uh, river here in a second. It's a uh, interesting support. We're right here at the top. Let's look over down the river. Yep, it's Mississippi River. And bam, just like that, we're in Illinois. So we're going to drive uh, through Illinois here for a little bit on Highway 3. And then uh, it'll take us to, I think, Bycliffe or something like that. There you go. You don't see that every day. Of our pathway on Highway 3 all the way to Wycliffe. the heck is that? Looks like an old hotel or something across the way. Alright, here we go. Kind of interesting. I don't know what that was. Anyway, we're southbound now. Oh yeah, we 
run an autopilot on this road. Hmm, can you do that with uh, somebody else's ADAS? I don't think so. Hey, looky over there. What's that? That's the old Miss Mississippi River. Can't see much here. But it's pretty cool. State 57 is crossing over. It's fine. Now there is a fixer upper, looks like hotel maybe. There we go. Very cool. We are in the town of Cairo. And uh this is kind of cool. Let's uh, have a look out the front window here and uh, we can kind of absorb it. Cairo is uh, sandwiched by a river on one side, which I think is maybe the Ohio River, and the Mississippi on the other. And, uh, oof. Got all this. Now it says we bear to the left here and it looks that way. Somebody needs to work on the road a little bit. In one mile, turn left onto Washington Avenue. Yes, we will. This is Cairo. Ah, it's been here a while. Check these old uh, brick buildings here.
Now turn left onto US Highway 51. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so this is the Ohio River. The one on our right was the Mississippi River. And I gotta tell you, every time I come across this river, I meet a semi. As you can see, it's not very wide. It doesn't look very well maintained, actually. It's rusty. Maybe that's a good thing. Look over here, you can see the Mississippi there. And we're now officially in Kentucky, and I can see the Mississippi there. But just look at uh, this superstructure here. Oops, a little too much. There we go. Let's look at that. Well, a motor home, I guess that's better than a semi. There's uh, maybe a meter or so from my mirror to this guardrail. And again, we're crossing over the Ohio River. And just like that, we're over the river. We're on this viaduct though. You can kind of see we're really high in the air, just as high as the uh, bridge. And that's because uh, occasionally the Mississippi or the Ohio River's flood, and it floods this whole area. So, I don't know, that was pretty cool in my opinion. If you like old stuff, uh, you'd certainly like that. We're in Kentucky now, we're in Ballard County, Kentucky, and uh, the sign says, uh, Welcome to Kentucky. All right, we'll be at Wycliffe here in a minute. So that little zigzag is Wycliffe, yet another little town. Nothing like Cairo, but it's uh, cool just the same. This is the town of Wycliffe, or Wycliffe, however you now want to pronounce it. It's a cute In little place. 500 feet, turn left onto Port Street. Not much to it, but still a cute little town. We've got the county seat or city hall or something here. Now turn left onto Port Street. A couple original buildings. So from here on out, it's a two-lane road, or I should say uh, one now lane. Now keep left to take Phillips Drive. One lane in each direction, and uh, you can get hairy, but it's okay. We're heading through uh, Paducah now, and uh, we're going to get on Interstate 24 in 24 miles, it says. Could be. All right, so I'm going to pay attention. Uh, if there's something good coming up, you'll see it. I know you find this hard to believe, but I've been this way a bunch of times. I even dragged a 20-foot trailer through here. <laughs> you had to make sure you were on your side of the road for sure.
yeah, you have to see this. <laughs> Is that bright enough for you? We're here on Interstate 24 and uh, heading that way. Looks like about 17 miles to Katawa Supercharger here. It's getting dark. Can't see it on the camera, but it's real sensitive. Navigation, five and a half miles to Katawa, and we are preconditioning, which is a good thing. Trips. We've got uh, 480 miles today, 151 kilowatt hours used at a rate of 314. We've arrived at 15%. All right, let's get plugged in. Navigation reports 20 minutes. Uh, that's good. All right, let's uh, have a look here. We need to check our uh, traffic. I looked at it on Google and it uh, was not good. It may have cleared up. See no red or anything here. Of course in uh, Nashville, yes, but out on the highway. I think we're good to go. We're going to head right down 24 back to Nashville. It says 20 minutes, it's 103 miles. I'm gonna go use the uh, facilities at the BP and I'll be back. Yeah, this has worked out just fine. No one is in uh, the pull-in spot for trailers, and they always do. But so I parked in uh, 1B, which is its companion spot, and no one showed up. That's excellent. Looks like a lot of folks left about time I got here. I guess I didn't take a shower or something. Anyway, 12%, this should uh, finish up here in a minute, and we'll get down the road. And I checked traffic, uh, so far it looks good. Uh, I'm not going to use the T word while I'm on the road. We're ready to go. Enough charge to continue our trip. Let's do it. So when I cancel that, it shows me five minutes remaining to my trip. This is a software bug. Uh, it should say... Uh, five or ten minutes to the uh, limit, which I have at a hundred, so that's even accurate, inaccurate. Anyway, it's a bug. I don't mean to spy, but you see that? He set it for a hundred percent. This guy was here when I got here. I charged uh, 20 minutes and went from 15 percent to 64. I don't know what people are thinking. You don't charge your EV to 100% each charge. You'll never get there. All right, I'm on the road. I'm back on Interstate 24 southbound. It says 89 miles to the destination. We're getting close now. Looks like 11 miles from our turnoff here in Nashville. Traffic has been uh, moving and... Uh, it's crazy, but whatever. We're moving. I've made it to Nashville. Yes, it's 7.07 .07 p.m. here. 13% in the battery. Let's have a look at the trip. Today I drove 585 miles, 186 kilowatt hours of energy used today. 318 watt hours per mile. All in all, it uh, was a good trip all the way from Peculiar. Um... Uh, you know how it is. Arrived with 13%. So, this just goes to show you, can you travel in the winter with a Model Y or a Tesla? Absolutely. Plenty of superchargers, easy to charge, easy to navigate. There's really no issues at all. If you like today's video, give me a like, and if you would, please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and please pass my videos on to your friends. When you get home from a trip, you take your wall connector, not a charger, press the button, plug in your car, and you are good to go. Just like your cell phone, it charges and it'll be ready for you in the morning. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next video and take care.